Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to talk about passwordless SSH. Now, uh, that might be kind of clickbaity, but what this is, is you can enable your edge router so that you don't have to enter a password, but it uses something even more secure, which is a key file. Now, you need to have proper key file management as well. You just don't want to leave your, your private keys everywhere. We're going to go over what you need if you're on Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, it's a little bit different, and I will do another video on that, but this is how we're going to do this process with Windows. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go out and you're going to go to the, the PuTTY download site. And if you go to Google and just do a search for PuTTY download, the second link, if you click on it, it's the one that's the .org, it'll bring up some files. Now I'm assuming that you already have PuTTY. And maybe that's kind of a broad assumption, but if, if you're this far, you likely have PuTTY, you're already SSHing in, or you have some sort of terminal emulation product that you're using to SSH in. We are going to download the PuTTY Gen, and I'm on a 64-bit build, so we're going to go ahead and download that. And then once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and launch PuTTY Gen. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a private public key pair for us. So we're going to go ahead and click Generate, and it says, please generate some random, randomness by moving the mouse over the blank area. So just move your mouse over this blank area. The progress gar bar will proceed. And now we have a public-private key pair. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to save the private key. So we're going to click Save Private Key. Now, you can protect this with a passphrase, which adds even another layer of security on top of this. For this demonstration, I am not going to do that, but feel free to experiment with that. Are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it? Yes. It's going to ask me where I want to download it. I'm going to save it in my keys folder, and I'm going to call this one WHOW Edge Router 1. Now, here we have this public key for pasting into the OpenSSH authorized key files. Go ahead and open PuTTY or your terminal emulation program. And let's SSH into the Edge Router. Keep things simple. I'm going to stay in my own home directory. So if you do a PWD, present working directory, it'll show you we're in slash home slash WHOW on the Edge Router. So now we're going to go to uh, CD space dot SSH. In Linux type operating systems, Unix type operating systems, any directory that has a period before it is hidden. So we could uh, go back a folder and I can show you that. Uh, so if I do an ls-h, you don't see anything in there, but if I do ls-alh, then you see all these folders that have the, the periods before them. Um, so anyway, go back into the SSH directory. And we are going to do vi. I know you love vi. whow.pub. We're going to come over here to our, our putty gen. We're going to select all of this. Copy. We're going to come over here. Just to make sure I didn't hit any other keys, I'm going to hit escape a couple times, but then I'm going to hit I for insert. Then I'm going to right click to paste. I'm going to hit escape twice colon w exclamation point will write escape colon q exclamation point will quit so now we see that we have those files particularly the whow.pub file which is the file we just created so now we have to go into configure mode and now we're going to do load key whow is the only user on the router then we're going to point to that public key file And the router is going to chug along for a minute. It's going to think about it. We're going to do a commit. And it'll say there are no changes. And then we're going to do a save. Now, you don't have to do anything else. At this point, it is ready to go. So let's, let's test it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to exit. So that'll close PuTTY. Then we're going to reopen PuTTY. We're going to put whow at 192.168.66.1. We're 
we're going to go under connection. We're going to go to SSH and then auth. Then under private key for authentication, we're going to uh, click browse. We're going to navigate to the directory where our key is. So now you can see this private key that we generated. We're going to double click on that. And now we're going to click open. And it's using the username WHOW. And it is using that key for the authentication. You can see now we are logged directly in. I, I recommend that if you need to have SSH open to the internet, whether it's for a Linux box or whether it is for a router, use, use key files. It is much more secure than using a password. Now we can take this one step further. And what we can do is we can actually disable password authentication on the router. So you have to use keys to authenticate. So we go into configure mode and we can do set service SSH disable password authentication and we hit enter. We commit. We save. And now if we exit this and we bring PuTTY up, if we try to log in without a private key, we should get some sort of a message. Yeah, no supported authentication. So the server wanted a key, we didn't supply a key. So now if we come back here, and now we specify that key, it should log us right in. Now, of course, you still have the web GUI that you have to worry about. I don't suggest you open that to the outside. If you need to access that, you should VPN into the router. I've got VPN configuration videos. Check those out. But if you do need to SSH for some reason, use the uh, public key infrastructure. It is fantastic. And that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. How's the audio sound, by the way? New microphone. First recording with new mic. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links that are down there uh, to keep a few bucks rolling into the channel. And I will see you in the next video.